Okay. Hello, my lovely viewers, and welcome. I am Kira, a romantic ace, and welcome to this build video. So today we are going to be doing a build based off of one random expansion pack, game pack, and stuff pack. So I haven't decided what I want to build yet. We're going to be using James Turner's random pack generator to find out what my build is, um, or at least what packs I'm going to, to get to use. So let me bring that up. Okay, and as you can see here, I already did this once, but then I realized I had not switched my scene in OBS because it's literally right behind my microphone. So as much as I would love to do this, we are just going to run the generator again. Let's see what we get. Bowling night, island living, and strangerville. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I decided was that I was going to build in the world of Strangerville because I've never actually built anything in Strangerville before. I've never even played in it, um, which make of that what you will. I should play the storyline sometime because when I brought in a tester sim to just make sure everything in the build worked, it was actually kind of fun, so... Eh. Here I decided to just renovate this Slip 42 lot, which was a trailer. Um, I've been kind of into doing little trailer homes lately, so I figured this would be something kind of quick and easy and fun. Um, going through and... Because I find the Island Living Siding, that Island Living Siding works really well for uh, certain styles of trailer homes. It depends on how grungy you want it to look, but I figured... You know, over here, where everything else is just kind of RVs and stuff, that would work really nice. And I also really like those island living windows. Um, <clears throat> I think I think those look those look very much like the sorts of things that I remember seeing on like my grandparents' trailer home and uh, and motor home as well. So I thought they looked they looked kind of nice. I wasn't sticking to a budget of any kind here, so this is absolutely not a starter home. But you can see here, it's just going to be really simple. One bed, one bath with the kitchen and living area kind of all together up front. Um, it's just kind of the simplest, easiest to fit on a lot of this size. I think this lot is like, tw is it 20 by 15 or is it 20 by 20? I can't remember. I feel like it's an odd lot size. But I got to kind of have a little bit of fun with the, with the cabinets and stuff and not feel like I had to use like the absolute grungiest worst things but this this paneling this wood paneling is from the bowling night stuff pack so I was really really wanting to integrate everything well and I thought a trailer home for somebody who's maybe a little bit older like maybe middle-aged to elderly uh would suit that kind of blend of mid-century modern and rustic and whatever Strangerville's style is because Strangerville is the weirdest pack to try to build with because it's like Victorian style architectural stuff so like columns and uh and like stairs and stuff is all very Victorian looking but then their siding and stuff is very science lab looking and their furnishings are very science lab looking and they have that uh, that, like, science lab-looking door, which is what I used for the front door on this build. Because, again, I think that works really nice for a trailer, but it, they really just needed to pick one. Oh, yeah, and that's where this light comes from, too. So I do use that under-cabinet lighting a lot. Um, when I learned how to do that myself, that was what that's become one of my favorite tricks for kitchens because it just gets the light right to where it needs to be. I remember when, like, real-life renovations that was the huge style was under cabinet lighting man if you do not if you did not have under cabinet lighting you were no one and i know this because in my home which you know my kitchen is straight out of 1978 there is an under cabinet light it is one that sticks to the wall and is not you know wired into anything in any way um well, I guess it is because it's tied into the one light switch, but it's literally the light switch that's right next to it. So there was like no wiring really had to be done. That has under cabinet lighting, so you can guess how big it was at one time. 
but here I am doing the the bedroom and then a little bit more in the bathroom. Um, again, Bowling Night kind of serves me well with that style of uh, like the little. I really love the little table lamp from it. Actually, I use the Bowling Night table lamp a lot. And here I am realizing you probably would not have kitchen uh, or carpet in the kitchen. So Stranger Veil does come with that grungy version of the base game. They call it tile, but it looks like linoleum to me. So I was happy to use that in here. Um, I also don't usually use either of those floor lamps, the martini lamp or the industrial lamp, but I figured they both looked really good here. Um, just the, the martini lamp, I'm like, you know, whoever lives here is kind of, kind of interesting, you know, kind of, kind of kooky. Maybe they have a martini lamp. I don't know. I thought about putting up like, uh, some... I thought about putting up some, like, neon signs and stuff, but, um, I think I just end up leaving it with that. And, um, just working on the living room now, trying to pick out what decorations I wanted. I have never used that wall-mounted AC unit, and I figured, ah, eh, maybe stick it on the living room. It doesn't, as far as I know, it doesn't do anything, despite, I think, being under miscellaneous appliances. I think it is just a wall decoration. And now I'm just cluttering up the kitchen a little, or kitchen, bathroom a little bit, as well as the kitchen. Now, the kitchen, this is where I finally started getting an idea of who these people were. So I figured these were a, an ex-pro bowling pair, you know, pairs bowling, who one of their friends uh, went missing in Strangerville, and so they've moved to Strangerville to find try to find what is going on but you know they keep getting searched by the local agents so they've taken all their important papers you know all their all their strangerville research it's not in that desk in the bedroom it's actually hidden up here on top of the fridge and you know they they've got you know all their cookbooks and stuff up there and and yeah bowling pins people keep bowling pins on top of their fridge normally right definitely it's definitely a thing that's done but you can see here there's some other just like more innocuous, you know, pieces of clutter here in the bedroom. A Strangerville is, is great for clutter, but again, the, the pack is just so weird, it does not know what it wants to be. And I go, ooh, Strangerville, but not like that. Um, cluttering up the bathroom a little bit as well. I was trying to find a spot to put maybe like a, a bathrobe, but I don't think I ended up doing it. Um... And a little bit, a little bit of clutter in the kitchen as well, but there's not a lot of countertop space, so I didn't want to make it so that your Sims couldn't use it. Um, and now I'm just doing some stuff on the outside. So this is where Island Living finally gets to start coming back, because I don't use a lot of Island Living on the interior except for those ceiling fans, which those are really nice ceiling fans. Um, if I'd had laundry day in this pack, I would have used the uh, hanging the hanging lights, the hanging light bulbs from Laundry Day to make them lighted ceiling fans, but I was limited just to get to, uh, just to um, Island Living and Strangerville and Bowling Night stuff in this. So I'm just setting up like a little outdoor living space. So we've got a nice uh, shady, shady spot to put the um, picnic table under, adding a few like posters and stuff uh, about Strangerville in the bedroom. Just some, like, basic safety, I figured, um, that they nicked off of somebody. I was going to try to do, like, a big, uh, conspiracy theorist corkboard, you know, with a bunch of stuff on it, but the only thing you can actually attach to this board is the postcards, so I ended up just going with one that was pre-filled. Um, I think if I'd had get to work, I think you can get one from the detective career, like a literal, uh, crime map, but I don't think that would have fit in here anyway. So I just stuck to having like that board and then the monitor. Um, I figured that was plenty and I figured maybe this was their, their son or something, you know, they've got like some family photos up, you know, and like photos of their travels or whatever. Um. Just for just for something interesting in the ass, like oh yeah, they're bowlers, so we're gonna put the gonna put the bowling sign on the wall because that's that's what bowlers do, right? They just have bowling everything in their house. Um, but outdoor, like the the bathtub full of succulents, just cracks me up because I have seen shit like that. I used to drive by, well, I didn't. The bus driver used to drive by a house every day 
when I was when I would ride the bus to school um, that had a toilet in their front yard as a planter, and they would like repaint the toilet uh lid they still had the lid on it and they would like repaint that for different holidays and stuff it was very weird it was very very weird but i also figured you know okay they've got some some satellite dishes so i figure one is tv one is internet um because i know a lot of people who actually get their internet access via satellite and not via dsl and then that smaller one is their is their little listening dish so so no agents we're not totally trying to listen in on what the military personnel are doing nope uh uh and trying to throw down a little terrain paint which this lot doesn't need it as much because this lot is already kind of like pretty dynamic with its terrain paint but just to kind of give the impression of some walking paths and stuff. Get some lighting out there so that you can see the tiki torches are great for that. And I figured, yeah, maybe maybe they do a touch of gardening. Because um, I know there's like the strange plants that you can grow from Strangerville. So I was like, ah, well, you know, maybe they plant a couple of those. Or or they're paranoid about where their food comes from. And so they they plant their food themselves either one. And then I figured, you know, what a great chance to use the gnomes because obviously Baby Yoda has to be here. So when else do I get to use the gnome riding a, riding a pink flamingo? And I also stuck one you can see in the, in the tub. But here I'm going into debug and getting a lot of the, um, world objects for Strangerville, a lot of the world plants. These are just in... Are these in regular debug or do you go have to go in? I think these are just in regular debug. So show hidden objects. I don't think they're in show live edit objects. Strangerville is the odd one out once again with that. And then back here with these barrels, I started thinking, oh, maybe something's like growing out of them. So that's why there's these um, these vines on the wall. And I'm like, oh, maybe they're contaminated and leaking and, you know, some some creepy alien spawn is growing out of it so I kind of tried to make it look that way with the flowers here um because we because the rug you can see here I'm gonna try to like place the matching rug in a minute um it is very two-dimensional and really hard to get it to look layered and nice as opposed to those um bougainvillea flowers which have a little bit more of a third dimension to them. So you'll see me fiddle with this for quite a while as I try to figure out just how I want this to look. But the one, uh, the like splat rug from Strangerville, I put some mud terrain paint down underneath it. And so it really gives that kind of gross impression of when you get like an oil slick on top of water or on top of mud or something. And like, you can just smell the environment back here. Like, you know, you've, you've got this whole surrounding area of Strangerville, this desert that just smells burnt. And then you have this smell of this mud and it's wet and it's kind, it's not like really rank but you're just like, hmm, something doesn't smell right back here. Maybe you should check that. And they've been so focused on everything else that they have not noticed that these barrels have started leaking in the back. Um, I mean, they're going to find out when this thing starts growing through their wall or something, but we're not quite there yet. And I figured maybe they just... Um, I don't know if they're like heavy drinkers or if this is just like we can't be bothered to take our bottles out. Um so I just figured, oh, I'd use some of these as as uh, as clutter on the tables. I think they're actually supposed to be like olive oil bottles and stuff, but we can pretend. Um, and they actually look really good sized down too. Oh, and since I was already in debug, I went ahead and I found the plunger, which I don't think I've ever seen a sim use. I don't think I've ever had a toilet get clogged to the point that a sim has had to use a plunger on it, but it's in debug. And then here is where I realized, oh, I have access to all the world objects for island living, and corals look way more like, you know, alien plants when you take them out of the water than the bougainvillea does. Like, especially, we have brain coral. Like, it's just so fantastic for this. So I end up layering just a ton of corals back here. All these fan corals, and I think I only use the one brain coral. And then a couple of these, like, tubular ones and the stag coral. Because, like, does that not just look like, oh my god, something catastrophic is happening with these barrels. Something is growing. Somebody needs to come check on this. I didn't, like, I like the way these look instead of the way the Strangerville stuff looks. I think this just came out so cool. So I'm really, really pleased with how that came out. 
But yeah, we're just finishing up the exterior now, dropping some rocks in. Um, amazing. Those are four simoleons as opposed to like all the other ones. But yeah, now we're on to the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and comment with what you liked or didn't like or would like to see next time. And uh, su subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you in the next one. Catch you later.